Okay, so welcome to Math Story, yeah? and let's have this topic. The application of derivatives, finding the maximum and the minimum. Then we have this problem. So if farmer has 600 meters of fence and he wants to enclose a rectangular field beside the river on his property, then find the dimension of the field so that the maximum area is enclosed. So if this is the rectangular field, beside the river and we can have this as y and this rx since this 600 meters is the total fence so therefore this one is the perimeter and to find the perimeter of a rectangle that's two length plus the two width since we're using x and y so therefore we can use two x plus 2y since the perimeter is 600 so therefore this p equals 600 then equals 2x plus since we only have 1y because on this side is the river so therefore plus y then to solve for y so we just need to transpose this 2x so we have 600 minus 2x equals y so this one is the equation number one then from this equation number one we just need to equate this one to zero so that's 600 minus 2x equals zero to solve for x so transpose so 600 equals 2x then divide by 2 so x is equal to 300 so therefore, x is greater than or equal to 300 or x is less than or equal to 300. So these are the possible values for x. So to find now the dimension of the field so that a maximum area is enclosed, so from the area of a rectangle, that's length times the width, but since we're using x and y, so x times y. Then from equation number 1, y is equal to 600 minus 2x. So we just need to substitute this value to y. So therefore, area in terms of x is equal to x times y. And y is equal to 600 minus 2x then simplify so distribute that 600x this one is negative 2x squared then to find the derivative so a prime of x so the derivative of 600 so we just need to drop this x this one is 600 then minus the derivative of 2x squared so multiply this exponent and this coefficient 2 times 2 this one is 4 then x minus 1 for the exponent so x to the power 1 then to solve for x so equate this one to 0 so we have 0 equals 600 minus 4x then transpose this negative 4x to the left so this becomes positive 4x equals 600 then to solve for x divide by 4 divide by 4 so x is equal to 150 so this is the first value for x that we need to test then we need to test also x equals 0 and the last one x equals this 300 so to test which of this value gives the maximum area to enclose using this equation so we have area in terms of x that's 600x minus 2x squared so let's start with x equals 0 so if x equals 0 so 
area of 0, so this becomes 600 times 0 minus 2 times 0 squared, so the area is equal to 0. Then for x equals 150, so if x equals 150, so area of 150, so we have this 600 times 150 minus 2 times 150 squared. So we have 600 times 150 equals then minus 2 times 150 squared equals so the area is 45,000. So this one is 45,000. Then the last one, x equals 300. So if x equals 300, so we have area of 300, that's 600 times 300 minus 2 times 300 squared. So we have 600 times 300 equals then minus 2 times 300 squared equals so the area is equal to 0. So therefore, the value for x to give a maximum area, x is equal to 150. So x is equal to 150 meters. Then to solve for y, from this equation, so we have this 600 minus 2x equals y. So we have 600 minus 2 times x, x is 150 equals y. Then 600 minus 2 times 150, this one is 300 equals y. So therefore, y is equal to 300 meters. So therefore, the dimension of the field, so that the maximum area is enclosed, that's 150 meters by 300 meters. So this is now the dimension of the field.